Hey everyone, this is Marilyn Crump, expert dream catcher, business coach, and mentor. Just saying hi, it is December 15th, 2019. And what if in 2020, and even maybe now, that this is the time when you finally mm, tell fear, go away. Just go away. I don't need you, fear. You don't need to be such a big presence in my life. How can we do this? How can one finally say, poof, fear be gone? All right. So now there are legit things, of course, that your mind likes to focus on in order to protect you moving forward and to learn from it. So fear is normally a kind of a reaction to something that is going to be imprinted in your mind for the long term so that you know that it's dangerous uh, to do that. So, but think about it, like our lives nowadays, I mean, we have the internet, we have shelter, we have many useful tools that we're not in that zone of humanity where we were running around in the forest, in the grass, trying to like ah, be fearful of different things that we weren't sure about because it could eat us or trap us, you know, and things like that. But now think about it. Humanity has come so far that most of the fears that we have in our lives, we invent. It's not even real anymore. And maybe there's disappointments, but why do we have to wrap that up into fear? So here's the thing, like there's been times in my life that I'm like, oh, I'm so disappointed that I can't at this moment cover something financially. Let's say that that's one of the big things that people obsess about. They're like, I'm fearful that I'm not going to make money. I'm not sure where my next uh, paycheck is coming from. Like it becomes a concern, which then they turn into a fear. And so you have to be careful about the origin of the fear that you have, because is it really fear or is it more the fact that you aren't sure about something and maybe at the moment you don't have clarity on it, but when it becomes like, okay, I'm confused, I don't have clarity, but you, then you turn it into fear, it's, it's almost like you're creating the fear, meaning it doesn't exist, it didn't exist. What existed was you need a solution for the issue or the obstacle that you're facing. Instead, you go into fear mode and saying, well, I got to I gotta remember this for some reason because I don't want it to happen again, but in order for me to remember it, I got to be scared of it. Stop doing that to yourself. You don't need to do that. Like fear should be like, you know, hey, there's a big tsunami coming my way. Like that is like, be scared at that moment. Let the adrenaline at that moment really carry you to surviving. You don't need to keep your stress hormones triggered because you don't know something or because you can't predict something or you're not confident about something. Why do you have to like trigger your fear mechanism in order for you to move on that? And what happens is you become more depressed, you become more lost and frustrated. And so what I'm trying to tell you is this, if you are connecting with the different things that I know myself and my husband, our company is putting out there, then this is the time for you to conquer this type of like mental attitude that you have within yourself. If you're not getting involved in retreats, workshops, different things that we, we set up, then I encourage you to start because it's time. You need to kick fear in the butt. And really that just means that you need to show up when it's time to really work on it. You can't work on it all, all the time by yourself because you don't have the muscle to do it. And there's really nobody asking you the right questions in order to open up your brain and your perspective. So I would say do your best when you are by yourself to watch different empowering things. Think about like where fear really comes from. Like think about that, like write it down, create a journal, track those feelings so that you know in, in itself like 
your brain can say, okay, well, do we really need to be fearful about that? Or are we just not sure about that? Do we just need a better solution? Do we need to talk to somebody? Do we do not have to like create a bad feeling inside of us? And if you're, you know, if you're like me, I'm trying to be very prayerful. And if you're, you know, looking at this season, the season of Advent and the season of like Christmas time, things like that. There's so many things to focus on that is not fear based. And it's also like super fun for you to start releasing the fear. You don't need it anymore. You just need to like live in a better mode. Again, if there's like something coming at you right then and right then, right? I mean, have the fear that's healthy. But when it's not healthy, is that if you're just sitting there contemplating, and then all of a sudden you just start getting fearful and there's nothing else that really triggered it other than your thoughts, you really need to be careful because then you don't want that to become like your every day and then that becomes the rest of your life. And then before you know it, you've just lived an entire life in, in fear. Your longevity is like shrunken. You're, um, you're aging faster. You're gaining weight. You're doing all this stuff because your body's trying to like pad you and protect you because wow, there's something going on. I need to like create like a cocoon around this person. And then you can't think straight anymore. Your memory goes, all these things. You don't want that. You don't want that for your life. What you want is to live a life of love, forgiveness, gratitude, kindness, encouragement, confidence, all of that. Okay. So connect, connect. Let's come together. Uh, find out when the next event is register for that I need you there we need you there you need to be there okay so if you have any questions reach out to me comment below whatever you need to do now is the time let's conquer the fear poof all right see you later